What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, big connect? Okay, sorry. I just couldn't help myself. I'm trying to find a good intro, okay? I don't think it has been working for like the last 10 episodes or however many we have. Uh, welcome to Disco Elysium. I'm Nappy Napkin. We're gonna be playing more of this. And uh, yeah, you know, I feel like the end is nigh. Um, I just saw some, I don't know, some stats, it said Usually you only play this game for 20 or so hours. I'm on the 25th hour, so I'm actually taking a bit longer. This is kind of the longer route. Let's, um, let's go do our stuff um, Let's go to Cindy Let's ask Ruby and go to a moral, but we need to find uh, they need to obtain Kim first I don't care about this they don't have to do this either. Um, I don't think so, at least. Uh, we need to go here. What time was it? Was it 9 to contact the library? It's 7.30, so we need to wait. Um, this is the murder, I bet. This is related to this. I got the signature, and I need some speed. Great, let's go. We're we're ready. I checked my to do list, and we are gonna we're doing shit. <laughs> Which one am I gonna do first, actually? Oh, Kim. I thought I had to go somewhere. I thought I had to go to the Whirling Rags. Good morning. Hold on. How's how's the how's the day treating you? Yes. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> Yeah, good morning. Let's go over and we need to do things. Since the mural is like right there, I guess we can just go there first. And uh, I think these need to be done in some other place. These two specifically. Uh, yeah. Alright, yeah, yeah. The first thing we need to do is... Um, Inspect the mural. Where, wherever it was that I found it. Ruby might be inside that building. And she killed someone. <laughs> well, we suspect that she did. Is this the long way round? Am I going there correctly? All right. What else should I do after this? If there's actually anything else to do here. Um, okay. East Marine. I forgot what they were called. Uh, East Marine. East Marine. East. East. Okay, so is this the only thing that I can do on this island? Hey. <laughs> Y'all, we're good. The we're once gonna. The bright mural towers above you, saying, "Fell electrical, R and D." Tomorrow uh, is just a whisper away. Could Ruby be in there? In there? She could, or she could be in the identical room over there, or in that boat shack, in that church tower, maybe. Why single out this one building? Isn't this the mural that I was thinking of? Identical ruin over there, boat shack, church tower. Gotta be this one, but I need shivers. It's like impossible. What the hell? I need a 20? This is the mural that it's talking about, right? Where else could it be? My shivers is on three. And uh, let's wear the clothes then. And done this in a while, I guess. Uh, drama, physical instrument, electrochemistry. I think they really had many shivers clothes. There might have been like one thing though. There it is, the pie. Rhetoric, logic, logic. All this pain threshold, and that's it. That's all I could do to help with my shivers. Uh, but, 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 the fuck is what I'm saying. 
Uh, fine, we'll save scum again. That's gonna take a very long while. Uh, and I need to drink next, right next to this child here. Uh, where's my beer? Where's my brew? Did I give my brew away? Oh, whatever, I can buy more booze. I, I don't, did I give all of it to that guy that told really good stories? Ah, shit. Okay. I guess we should save here. Or I should, like, drink it first. I don't know. It's, um... What is it? I think it's... Plus one of shivers. Okay, hold on, Ashley. Save right on here. And, uh, the how good is it? Nero it's still three percent. Are you real? Does that then help whatsoever? Tomorrow is just a whisper away. Oh, it's gonna take forever. Suddenly, all is quiet. There is no cold hand brushing against your forehead. No rustle in the reeds. The wind has died down or gone behind a corner. You only hear distant waves washing the coast. The ruin in front of you is silent as a tomb. Uh, she could be anywhere. How do we find her? Trying to talk to the wind, the city, whatever you thought would happen did not. And now you're just standing there in the pale of the morning with your hands fallen to your side. Is trying to talk to the city something you've done before? Is it in your secret repertoire? A trick for when you're out of ideas? A prayer of sorts to Rivershaw. Ah, uh, she could be anywhere to find her. Oh, do we? I was really hoping she'd be in the village. <sighs> okay. She's probably north of the village, and this place is a peninsula. We've already talked to the cryptozoologists. Working with them might give us a good excuse to run around, give us some structure. Wait, working with them might give us a good excuse to run around. And then there's the church. We've already searched that and can rule it out. I know it doesn't feel like progress, but exclusion is a step too. Anyway, we do it the old-fashioned way, sector by sector. Go over the whole peninsula, ask the locals, enter the places where we can enter first, like we did in the village. Uh, okay, if that fails, we don't find Then, her. if we're desperate, we can look where we can't enter. Bankers, tomb drainage, this place, I'm sure it won't come to that. Walk the coast, the old boardwalk, the reeds. You can always come back here and talk to the wind again. Look where it already got you. Buckle up and raise your collar. This search is going to be wet and cold. Uh, it will, won't it? Uh, what, it say, what did it say you could do? Failed mural and consult a friend if you don't know what to do other than actually searching the coast. Hmm. I ask people, there are people to the west of the mural. Or I don't know, ask a girl on date then, ask her. Ask the wind after that. Well, I mean, I already saved and drank my beer. <laughs> ah, whatever. I'll get more beer later. Let's just kick some shit down. Is there any useful things here that uses a physical instrument or, I don't know, anything physical? Sleeping dog worker, a mirror. Uh, this is for the expression, isn't it? Church doors, whatever, nothing, basically. That's fine, we'll talk to some people. Uh, where was it? On the coast? Uh, I already s asked some people. I don't think they would know where they Wait. are. Slow to let go of River Show. Flex some more wet snow from above. Look around here. The snow falls lazily, making the beach sand paler still, mixing with the rust-colored sewage runoff. No, I don't think it was. I don't. I think it was snowing yesterday. Now it isn't. It has been a cold year. All things waiting for spring will have to wait a bit longer. What am I doing? Looking up at the sky, 
melted snow dripping from your hair. I see you. The sky is full of great battleships. White clouds collide with one another, and the world is drenched with their debris. How does it the feel? melted snow seeps through your thin clothes. Grandmothers don't let their grandchildren out dress so lightly in this weather. You look around. Uh, this just made me think the washerwoman was related to Ruby. Can't be. Where's Ruby? Near. Snow falls into dark water. She prays, though she doesn't believe. There is a hum in the air. That's all. What? Okay. What's any of these places? The canal you crossed to get here and beyond it. Martinez proper. The district. The police forgot to police. There is laughter, lights, attempts at entrepreneurial activity, cynicism. Someone is scraping snow off their windshield at the roundabout, in the midst of which a statue of Philip III serves as a destination for grade school field trips and a fine perch for winter birds. I'm sure that... A fenced off yard. There's a truck belonging to a logistics company parked next to the gate. Bright light from a building behind the fence. Rift clean white light coming from the windows of a clean Q-shaped office building hidden amidst ruins. A secret. Hmm. Hold on. This thing is really bizarre. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh hmm. All right, nothing. Oh, whatever. Fine, we'll do the rest. More winding coastlines West. lined with abandoned buildings. Crumbling piers, salt water lapping at their dark piles. Gray and red forgotten city blocks. What remains of the pre-revolutionary effort to gentrify the coast. Beyond that. The waters turn black. Coal city in the shadow of San Martin. A boom town. Back when coal extracted from countless shafts near the city was needed to power Revachon. No more. The coal was supplanted by petroleum from the ocean floor and hydropower from the Esperance. Everything crumbled. These days, only the weakest remain in Coal City. Their hopes of getting rich linger in the defunct shafts under their feet. Below yeah. the old mines, Losser Municipal, Rivershell's underground cemetery, La Petite braved the underground passageways, trying to get to. Leroyam. There's Leroyam. Where the Philippian kings were interred with their doctors and their admirals. Mausoleums, burial chambers, leaf gold still remains on the double door of the morning. Rats, Children under 14, rats, they go underground the looking for artifacts to sell to foreign museums and for fabled relics. Their parents let them. They go deeper. Far deeper. After rubies, Melchiorite, Lapis Lazuli, plundered from Safre and Seol during the time of the suzerain. In the burial chambers of the kings, Grand Old Philip, Guillaume II, and even uh -oh. in the mausoleum of Philip the Opulent. I wish I was one of those kids. Two I kilometers sure underground, Fred, in a winding Fred shaft Savage along room. whose walls mirrors have been placed, so that daylight may eternally fall upon the richest of all the kings. The mausoleum contains untold quantities of gold and that special, purest of the pure magenta cocaine favored by Revacholian royalty. Did someone say untold quantities of cocaine? <laughs> Drop everything immediately and go looking for this hoard. Does cocaine, like, get spoiled? <laughs> How don't can know. it be pure if it's magenta? Uh, but no, Few stop. Patira return from the shafts. Even fewer find what they're looking for. A small child steps out of the black tunnel with silver trinkets in her pockets. All around her, white snow on the extinguished coke furnaces and on the weather-worn shacks where fathers beat their sons after drinking. The snow uh. melts on your fingers, turning to water. Yeah, was it snow or was it coke? Am I right? Yeah, but anyway, let's finish Should we keep moving? Oh, actually, there is snow. It's just, I don't know, I didn't see the snow. <laughs> yeah. What is this? Oh, okay. What? I didn't get to click that. Um, 
walk along the coast and ask people. And I can come back for something, for wind. I feel like uh, it might lessen after a while, but I can't guarantee it. I already asked this woman for a ruby, right? I also asked her out on a date once. Waves are beginning to die down. Look at those little bastards. Simmer down. Simmer down, bastards. Why does she care about the waves so much? Never mind the waves, it's on track here. Of course. Question time. Looking for someone else? Oh? I'm looking for who? a suspect who might have stayed in this neighborhood. Okay. When did this person stay here? Very recently, over the past few days. She might have arrived on Friday. Oh. I've been out on the sea for most of the past week. The weather's been good for fishing, so I usually start at four in the morning. Really? Yes, that's the optimal time. Got to make the most of the calm. I've been sleeping like a corpse after. The sea really takes its toll. Now I'm just waiting for the wind to settle to get out there again. Sorry I couldn't help you out. Maybe I can help you find someone else. That's it. Really? Are you sure you're not also looking for Nadia Harnan Kaur? Or Ignis Nielsen? Or the Great Lost City of Ace under the waves? For a lot of stuff, ain't I? Everyone's searching for them. A lot of stuff. Uh, cops do a lot to me. I could be doing more. <laughs> okay, I want to say this one. I guess so. Doesn't feel like a lot to me. Could be doing more. Maybe there's someone missing from your life. Oh, uh, I thought it was my life. Well, I'm being selfish. Oh, <laughs> there's plenty missing. But that's too much for even an eager terrier like you to handle. Although you seem very thorough. Tell me thorough. instead, is there something else I can help you with? Okay, um... What is that? Searchlight Division? Hmm. What ducks in a row? Uh, maybe this would help me find people better? Uh, I don't know. So yeah. I only need nine more points for something. Oh my god, you're a guy? Are you Joyce? What? Just keep the Cordelechi in the channel, if that's okay. It's too shallow near the pier. Huh. Hi, ma'am. And it's a jetty, by the way. Okay. Of course. Jetty. I prefer a good jetty to a pier any day. Jet, jet, jetty. Hello, ma'am. Hello, detectives. It's good to see you here. I only just arrived myself. What brings you here, madame? Nothing, really. I've had my eye on this jetty for weeks now, so I decided to investigate it personally. Okay. This cluster of buildings isn't on any of the official maps, as far as I can tell. That. And she's also keeping an eye on you. Have you been spying on us? Spying has such a negative connotation. I did track your progress along the coast, however, and decided I would be better able to assist you from here. Then there's the matter of that little scamp in old lady clothes. She threatened to paint the cordelate she read. Like blood, you see. Well, I like it the way it is. White. Blood is cool. What is this? Destruction of property, hooliganism, elder abuse, and who is this scamp anyway? You know, Ruby is like red and then has red hair. Maybe, maybe this is who? Who is the scamp? Want me to look into it? No need. Lillian and I are getting on much better. For one, she appreciates the concept of rent. How do you like it around here? Hmm. How do I like it? Uh, for the village sludge, melting on the cinder blocks. Uh, Water finish. drips down eaves of Etonite. The jetty below her feet creaks to the tune. The smell of salt and dog shit in the back. <laughs> okay, that makes it's sense. It's pornographically poor. The street has no name, all the men are dead or missing. And is that the carcass of a motor carriage over there? She used the same phrase I did. I'm surprised that woman hasn't put me to the sword yet. Maybe she will. You should ask your questions while you can. Dark eyes survey the coast leading up to Martinez. Dull grey metal rests in her scabbard. A sword. The wind is too loud for her to hear. Fortunately for you, madame, the RCM is on the scene. All right, politics time. Let's react. Real men 
Real politics. Real thoughts in your head. Hmm. All your fault. What? No idea what's happening to them. Try not to be scared. The place is doomed either way. Okay, I don't. Well, I don't get it. She could easily just. Above you, there forms a quilt of alto cumulus clouds, twisting into each other. The wind tugs and stretches them over the bay. Their cloud shadows slide over the ruins of Revachol West. Wherever they pass, the temperature drops slightly, but perceptibly. Have I told you how they discovered this place? This island? No, the Insulindian Isola. Oh, and Isola is like a bunch of islands, right? I'm guessing you don't know then. No, you haven't told me how they found it. Well, your condition has left you no worse off than most of these people. The literacy rate is around 45% west of the river. 50 years of occupation have left these people in an oblivion of poverty. Can we better they are? Oblivion, that's so me. I knew you would sympathize. Most Revacholians will never know what this place means. Our home. This island of matter. Or why they were ferried over in the first place. Remind me to tell you one day. For now. How can I assist you in this new location? Tell me something else, then? Of course. I hear you have singled out a suspect and are in pursuit. This is cause for cautious optimism. How can I help you at this juncture? I can't ask her about Ruby. Where's Ruby? I mean, I guess she wasn't here. She just arrived. Ah, oh, whatever, then. I found my badge, by the way. I love you did. She is memorizing your badge number. Pleased to meet you, Lieutenant W. Freighter Dubois. I am glad to see a man of high qualification. The situation is precarious. What can I help you with, Lieutenant Tia Freighter? That's it. You're on a boat. She's not even on a boat anymore. What the hell? Well, technically speaking, I'm not on it right now. Not a lot of people on boats. Does she have a name? The boat? No. It is called Cordelati 19, because that's the type of sloop it is. The word, it, feels strange. Such a beautiful boat deserves a proper name. It does look kind of cool. A breeze ripples through the sails and tugs at your hair. Below, the sleek, fish-like shape of the hull parts the water. Beneath that, a resounding darkness. You're reminded of something, or someone. 27 minutes? Okay, I really want to get back on that and, like, level it up. I, I've... shit. Actually, I don't want to... I want to save after that, actually. Um... Your, your boat needs a name. Okay. How about Cordelachy 19? Why? Because it was manufactured in Revachol East by a company called Cordelachy. And its hull is 19 paces long. Why X? And I'm okay with the sleek fish. Dolores has like some meaning, so I'm gonna go with that. Why Dolores? After her innocence, Dolores Day. I'm not really big on moralist symbols. I think I'll stick with the factory name. But thank you. I don't know why I even did that. How do you like it? My sloop? I like it a lot. It's the eel's hips, baby. I'm enjoying this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the murder we're investigating. I really do, the lieutenant thinks. Is she thrown off yet? He's looking at the woman, assessing her. Okay, I think I have the boat thing. Good. Alright, that's all for now. Uh, good to see her again, I suppose. I, I really think that, um, especially while I have alcohol in me uh, that I should just keep s save scumming until I get the wind thing cuz like that's that's the last thing you're meant to do technically after you like talk to everyone I feel like I already talked to a couple of people um, I didn't go to onto the coast yet uh, I forgot to do that let's go back I don't think she's gonna be there there might be like a new thought when I arrive, I don't know. I don't got this thing, you know. 
Um, I don't got it under control. I just want to see stuff happen. Go down. This is the coast already, right? There she is. My motor carriage. Uh, but no. Uh, at least I got some money. No ruby to be found. All right. Amazing. Let's just go back to the wind then. The, the wind thing. The wind check. Actually, this will. I don't think this will be real, but like. There was an empty shack here. And I'm just like. There's like. It's empty, and there's nothing in there, so why does it exist? Maybe she is in here. No. I was being too hopeful. Like, it's the quest where I tried to find her, right? So it's possible that when that activates... Um, when the quest activates, she could be in the shed. Mm. One thing that worries me is the bunker. What could possibly be in the bunker? I have, like... It's a red check, wasn't it? And I, uh, suck. So... I suck at that. Actually, I don't remember if it was a physical instrument or like what kind of check it was. I'll ch I'll I'll see that again after I walk all the way over back here. It's a really long journey, okay? Uh. Uh. Where is it? There's like something on top of this building as well, so I'm like thinking there's gotta be a way inside. I don't know if I did explore everything possible just yet. I really feel like I did. Like what's across here? You know? Okay, hold on actually. Still got 24 minutes. I'll save after this. There's nothing here. Oh, no, there's, hold on. No, that wasn't interactable. And that's the coast. Or not the coast, it's like a way out or something. Into the sea, on a pier. This, I think, is like as most north... ...east as you can get? Yeah, at least I think so. Is there a secret way here? to get to the other side of the building? Apparently not. <laughs> oh well. We're gonna have to listen to the wind then. Because I think that will really help us, even though it's kinda like, it doesn't really make much sense why. It's the last place that we could check, and we might as well go to the last place we could check the first time. So yeah, have you guys, you guys spend all your time here, right? Maybe you can investigate them. I mean, Hello. interrogate them. Isn't this a fine morning? I'm looking for a suspect. Have you seen anyone suspicious around? No, I'm afraid I can't help you with this one, officer. It's just a regular day off for me and Mikhail here. Mikhail, you see no woman, didn't you? So you haven't seen anyone around? No, I'm sorry. As I said, this is just a day off. We just arrived anyway. You were here yesterday. There's something friendly and familiar in how he says that. A day off. All right, well, I can't push on him either. Okay, let's save here. Or, hold on, I should continue. Uh, it's blocked, isn't it? Oof. Feld mural. Uh, what else? Where's the one about the... The... Lock bunker. I don't remember what it's called. Mm. No idea. 
Actually, it could be a red check. That's why it's not possible here. Okay, let's level myself up then. In shippers. Ugh, hold on. Let's go. I'm like one EXP point away from leveling up. Oh my lord. Okay, save. Now, now let's get onto this. The once bright Nero towers Still above you. six percent. Feld electrical R and D. Tomorrow is just a whisper away. You're gonna be here forever. <laughs> A breeze like a quiet sigh. Go to the children of the big sea. It brings the salt of the sea to your lungs. What was that? The wind rushes away, leaving you where you were, on the rotting boards of the felled building. What the hell is it talking Officer, about? Are you okay? It looked like we lost you for a second. Wait, what? The wind told me to talk to the children. <laughs> Let's roll. Okay, when you're ready, officer. Okay. All right. Uh, I got I got a limited amount of time. I mean, I don't know. I guess I could do it without the booze. I need to go there to find Ruby, but like I don't know. They were like right next to the washerwoman. So like, it's shouldn't the washerwoman also know where she is? Is she hiding something? She seemed like she was protecting her in some way. Alright. I don't know why I didn't check earlier. I guess it's because, oh, I thought these children are dumb. I can barely interact with them, I'll be honest. The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone while the other watches him do it. Kids, have you seen any bad people around? What bad people? I don't think questioning four-year-olds with their parents present is going to crack the case. Then we're definitely doing it. <laughs> Kids, has anything strange happened lately? Um, he had bad words and said, um, I got in trouble. That's strange. Bad words. Bad, bad words. It just, wow, what happened? We just heard funny voices. Whoa, where, where, where We thought the voices were funny. We said what they said, and then we got in trouble. Hmm. It could be Ruby, I guess. Why did you hear them? Did you ever hear someone say them? Was it on the radio? Radio? What's that? We just heard them in our head. You heard the bad voices in your head? What? You know, I heard people talking. Except just in my head. What did you hear? Uh, it was like... It is time at last! My nasty speed reeks! A brother man is about to grow up. Freaks is the bad word they said. DJ Flatchios, Big Boy Daniel single is here. Buckle up, because this is the fastest track that you're ever going to hear. Turn up the volume. Load those speakers out. Now here's... No. Don't say bad words, stupid. Stupid is a bad word. A word when you're done. The boy draws a jagged rock across the ground. It leaves a white scratch. Children are stupid. <laughs> You're stupid. How about the policeman has to do something else now? Okay. That's it. Bye, kids. Uh, did it say children or did it say boys? Actually, stop. What did you say, Kim? <laughs> Detective, about what the twins had to say. I believe they heard something. And given the poverty of this part of town, I don't know how they could have heard the radio. I don't know how they heard it, but I know the station they imitated. So they must have heard it somehow. What channel? Speed Freaks FM. Oh, huh. Yeah, local station, known for its kinetic music and aggressive style. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Weird as it is, the situation is not connected to the murder. This isn't our business. It is related. The wind told me so. 
The lieutenant says nothing. An ocean breeze blows in strong. He raises his jacket collar against it. Besides, maybe it was just a radio they overheard. They might not be old enough to know the difference. How would they have heard the voices? Yeah, I'm thinking R Ruby came here with a radio. And that was just kind of proof that they were here. And the only other thing we know is that she sits, listens to Speed Freaks. I don't know. Didn't the review have uh, advanced radio know-how? The lieutenant shrugs. Let's at least rule out radios before continuing. Maybe the twins didn't know it was a radio they were hearing. The washerwoman seems to know everything that happens here. Let's ask if she heard anything before moving on. After you. All right. I think she knows something we don't. I'm getting sussy at her. Our she said this. I hope the waves don't keep you up at night. What can I help you with? Have you heard the radio on the coast in the last week or so? A radio? Ah, huh, no. We play no radio here. There's one in the shack, but it's never here. Shack? Used. The one in mine? I didn't, I didn't see one, I think. Um, are you sure you didn't hear any radio play? These ears know every sound that belongs to this coast. I would know if I heard anything different. Was it... I can't... I don't... They, the twins didn't say anything about how recent it was. So I, I don't know if it was like yesterday or anything, but... Uh, any idea how the twins could have heard Speed Freaks Was them? that the nonsense we were spouting? Huh. No. I have no idea where they heard it. They've been in earshot all week and no radio. A good camp. Let's just get it out of the way as fast as we can. Contact dispatch from my kinema and ask them to connect you to the station. Maybe they can shed some light on this. Thank you, Kim. I'm ready when you are. Thank you, ma'am. Anything else? Uh, is there anything else about Ruby that we didn't ask? What more do you want to know about that poor girl? Room exactly as she left it. She left the bullet in there. Hmm. Does she have any tech equipment? Like radio stuff? Not that I knew of. Though she was into nice music. She once showed me a few mixtape millions she'd made. Oh god. Although I guess she was pretty handy with the mechanical and technical stuff. Even fixed the heater in the shack. You should be thankful for that. There's a heater? I didn't know that. Enough about yes. Ruby. Let's Alright, so after that it's just to ask. Call Speedrix FM from Lieutenant's Keen Nima. And that's pretty much it for this island if i want to continue with working with the children of the big sea what <laughs> okay i think i should follow this line first but you know what maybe there is another quest oh, i got five minutes left all right gotta gotta dash <laughs> or i don't know do i even want to level up my thing uh, shivers yeah it's not gonna work never I think it was a check that was made to be impossible. Alright, time to go. Why do I- why am I still- um, it says I'm still holding a beer bottle. Or at least that's what my character model looks like, but I'm not holding anything. I like threw it away the second it was gone. So this is just a ghost bottle. Alright, whatever, let's, let's teleport back then. Uh, Kanima. And I need to do something else on the Kanima, but I need to wait until 9 for that. What am I going to do in 30 minutes? For 30 minutes. Let's go to Evrart. I want to go to Evrart. Um, and talk to Cindy. Uh, that's it, I guess. Okay. Travel here, then. I think I got some rhetoric clothes as well. So I could do the door. The door. The cargo door. Uh, we're going into Cindy's direction, so we are going to Cindy. I think, um, I'm just, I'm in, the point of that quest is to invest money into her to get into the art market. Uh, how much money exactly? There, on that balcony, do you see it? Cindy, yes, that's where I'm headed. Straight into a bullring with no prep talk. No, no, no. It's your first sales negotiation. 
Savvy's got to give you the do's and don'ts. What is it? That's a pathetic looking bull. Where are the sharpened horns ready to punch your gristle? There's no real danger here. Listening? Artistos are known to repel wealth. It bounces off their skin like rubber. The moment a reasonable business proposal enters their periphery, they go and get political. They got a point, I guess. Nonsense. No one repels wealth. The businessmen just don't know how to entice them. It's true. Some of them are known to turn the entire thing into a happening. What you need to do is lure them in with a strong one-liner. Get them on your side before you've even finished a sentence. Show us what you've got. Pretend you're facing the Skull Girl. And you're playing Skull Girls. Take a look at your art. Hand over your art. Put it in the bag now. Very beautiful. Let's go for a walk on the wild side. I'm in the market for some original art by Creme de la Creme. Uh, I think this is the most sensible one, but like, this is like way too upbeat, and this is <laughs> this is just cringe. Uh, this one's really funny though. Mm. This is yeah. This will also just get her attention. Mm. Oh, whatever. I'm in. I'm in the market for some original art. Mamma mia, if this isn't the top seller in La Delta, no one expected you to nail this on the first try. Congratulazoni. Okay then, off you go. Let's see what you've got. Is this what Savoir Faire says no matter what you choose? I don't know. <laughs> um, what was it? Where's my Savoir Faire? Wait, uh, it's only three. Stun with panache. I still don't understand what that means. Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? It's your lucky day. I'm looking to acquire some original art, like the creme de la creme. What's that? The piggy is looking to get into the art market with a snappy business pitch. Watch out, or you'll be auctioned off and face the chop. The lieutenant straightens his back, waiting to see where this is going. I want to make a billion dollars. No one I don't speaks think it's gonna to work. a police officer in that tone. Show the little missy here her place. Challenging. She stares at you, fearlessly, waiting for a response. <laughs> Whatever. Perfect. This is all very on brand for you. I love that little persona you've created. This little persona will grind you into a sausage if you don't stop. I'm not a sellout. The whole point of Graffitio being on the street is so everyone can see it. No charge. Expression for all. There has to be a way to convince her. Everyone has a price. Uh, alright. Good day. Tell me the price. I can make you rich and successful. I don't have a price. If I wanted to haul myself out, I'd go to Porto Rosa. Or better yet, I'd take you with me. And pimp you out to some friends of mine. They'd be delighted to get their hands on a squealing pink thing like you. Cut off your ears. Make some pig soup out of them. Now sod off. You've got nothing to offer that would make me change my mind. Just got a point. Perfect. She isn't interested. All the more reason to move on from this little side task. Your partner here gets it. Anything else I can not do for you, gentlemen? This is godly. I have no suggestion clothes, but uh, I can try it at least. Um, all right, let's go. She's locked up tight. <laughs> what does she want? Maybe it's as simple as asking her, but whine about it so she feels superior. Come on, there's Daniel's a way I can prove myself worthy. Squeal. Then maybe we can talk business. Uh... Kim, you do it. <laughs> okay, if I'm gonna squeal, I'm gonna squeal a bunch. Reek. Good little piglet. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> Sick. I wonder if I needed my crowbar to open that. Hold on. 
Oh, I can. Nice suggestion. I needed that like one second ago. Oh my lord. Great. Half life. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try that again. Where's where's my? No, oh, whatever. I'm gonna keep my crowbar in my hand. Let's go all the way to Everard. He is like all the way across town. At least I like know where he he is. Um, I like. In the beginning of the game, you know, um, I was, oh, it's gonna be forever until I, like, explore this entire map. But Revishal's small enough that I, I just know where to go now. It's, yeah, it's a nice feeling, I guess. Should I buy some more drugs, actually, from Fritz? I'm low, low on magnesium. Also, how do I get up here? What the hell? Oh wait, is this is this connected to the whirling rags? I don't know. <laughs> That's so mysterious. There's a lot to this game that I just do not know yet. I'm I'm ha I have a theory that maybe the way that um that maybe I'm stupid. Okay, I don't remember what I wanted to say. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Everard, um, I'm, I'm sucking up to a lot of people. Uh, I wanted to suck up to Cindy for my, for money, and I'm going to Everard just I want just I just because I wanted to sign up with the union, and also, oh, I can open this thing. Nice, the crowbar. I just, I don't know, I like it for, you said you wanted to do things for me. Plus Half-Life. Oh! Maybe I can be like full Falm. Um, I don't have anything though. I don't have any pants. I don't have any Falm pants. Ah, uh, where's my Falm pants? Oh shit. Okay. Anything new you want to say? Uh, I don't remember who this guy's oh, name hey, is. Mister. I nearly be back to talk with old Leo here. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. It's like Lady Larice said when she opened a bathhouse in the basement of my apartment building. They can only get so far before they're aching to get back. And lots of folk really did keep coming back. Uh, there's some pressure for you. That's not too much trouble. No trouble at all, mister. No trouble at all. It's like that old saying goes, wisdom withers if not shared. And old Leo is always up for sharing. What's Ubi? You're Ubi, right? Oh, yes. Born and raised in Arayish, mister. Oh, that's a Mom race. had to leave my dad after he got a bit violent. Took us here to the new, new world. I was about ten then. Too old to lose my accent then. People say us Ubis are up to all sorts of trouble with sheep and other animals and whatnot. I just want you to know there was never any of that where I come from. No, sir. Those are just nasty rumors. Thank you for clarifying that, sir. That's it, okay, I'm off. I, I thought there'd be new news. There's nothing. Alright. Get up there. Hey, Mr. Right. Dubois, every worker... ...is a living god. ...is an organ in the great state organism of war. Also, like, looks just like me. Or himself. Okay, I remember the word. That's right, Mr. Dubois. I see the socialist democratic fervor now burns in your heart, too. How can I help you today? I mailed the signatures you asked me to get. Uh, few details concerning the murder. Made it even shadier. I, I have the signatures. I can just give it to him, right? What is what does this mean? I, I forgot. I remember something about it being shadier, but I don't remember what. Uh... I made it even shadier. What? The brew, the shady, shady brew. Oh, mm -hmm. how could I forget your little side project? Well done, Harry. Well done. Don't even tell me what it was. But good job. I love it when workers take the initiative like this. So do I. That's one tasty brew. You should drink some right now if you can. I don't think I have the brew anymore. I don't remember. <laughs> I gave it all to the guy who told good stories. Um, got in, 
Murder. So I, okay. It's gonna have to be this, even though I did have the signatures, right? Oh, hold on. Wait, I needed to interact with it first, didn't I? Uh, okay, interact. You take the legal documents out of the envelope. A 12 to 40 month construction period and the zoning plan in the addendum. It's signed by Isabel Sadie and Lillian Carter. I know logic is already high, but what if I wanted it to be at like a hundred percent? Hold on. What if though? What if? Logic? Yes, yeah, I want to look stupid again. Oh wait, no, these are the logical hats somehow. Uh, like the chemistry is really... Okay, hold on. Drama. Logic. Drama. Uh, is it even possible to get like 100% on something? Drama. Rhetoric. Plus one logic. Plus one logic, but I already got the best hat. And that's it. <laughs> Great. Plus five logic. We're gonna destroy this. You take the legal documents out of the Very envelope. high. A 12 to 40 month construction period and the zoning plan in the addendum. It's signed by Isabel Sadie and Lillian Carter. Wow, I hope I get the 3%. There is no loophole. The simple truth is the current residents are going to lose their street access and for the next 12 to 40 months, their lives will be dominated by constant construction noise right next door. 12 to 40? Uh, hold on, how many years is that? Third, three years and then six months or something? Oh my God, four months. Oh God, Isabel and Lillian have a rough 12 to 40 months ahead of them. And I'm talking to Everett right here. You should have seen it. The people in the village are going to move out on their own accord sooner or later. All we can do now is not mail these to Everard's content. Your gun would probably stay missing though. Uh wait, what? Not mail these to Everard's accountant. Uh what have they ever done for me? Move on. So whatever. Um I really need my gun and see where this is going. Let's go get it then. Oh, I'm supposed to mail it. Why can't I give him my... Th Why can't I give him my thing right here and now? <laughs> Alright, whatever. I can't just give it to him. I need to mail it first. Whatever. Alright, great. Let's just get out. I forgot that detail that I need to mail it. I'm also gonna keep uh, wearing equipped my crowbar because there might be locked stuff that I didn't You're get back before. before the cargo container. Its drawer has not lessened since you were last here. If anything, it seems to have grown slightly. All right, is there anything in the rhetorics that I can increase? I don't know, I just kind of want to do as many checks as I can now that I have a ton of clothes. I have my own personal and portable... Uh... Uh, wardrobe, like, in my pocket at all times. White polo shirt helps. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> Great. I could get some drugs right now too, but I don't think it's gonna work. You're back before the cargo container. Seventeen percent. Its drawer has not lessened since you were last here. If anything, it seems to have grown slightly. It's not gonna work, but uh, I don't know. Is my rhetoric gonna get any higher than this? And, as it's always been, it's impossible to open a container with the rhetoric. Maybe you're losing your mind. I'm really curious what would have happened if um, that did happen. If I somehow was able to open it with rhetoric. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's mail it. I know where to mail things now. I'm a, I'm a genius. Put the, that thing down, like, doesn't do anything either, right? Like, if I change where the 
thing goes. Um, if I change the train, if I interact with it, it'll just go to a place where I can't access it. That was only 15 minutes. What do I do? Hey, Measurehead, you're racist. Let's get back here. Yeah, I, I want to look through. I want to look behind you. How do I get here? It's a box. Move through. Ah. <laughs> okay, goodbye. That's not. I don't. I don't want to talk to Measurehead. I mean, we're already pals, but whatever. Get down. Where was, this, where was I meant to go? Alright, the mailbox. I guess I can get back to him after that. Uh, I have 15 minutes left. I can wait for 15 minutes, but like, I don't know, it's more fun. Well, you guys. Oh, also, where's the mailbox? There's the mailbox. Get here. The dented yellow mailbox greets you with its graffito and bullet holes in the front. A uh, good mail delivery box. I did it with my crowbar. The mail collection box has no faith in your psychopathic manipulations. Let's put it in. You drop the white envelope in the darkness. It lands with a soft thud on what sounds like a couple of letters. By the way, I padded the mailbox because there was a girl in middle school. She was my crush and she padded the head of everybody including me and i was like ah oh, this feels really nice for good that's adorable or ill the deed is done let's go back to Everard. this better be worth it after what we did yeah we like lied to a grandma what an asshole thing to do before that though uh what are you f assholes doing to, to our bride that's one brutal motor carriage with piss what oh if I they, were uh, a real skull now, I'd jack it, paint it in palm tree livery, then bottom light it, neon style. His companion is simply a dog and fuck the world, okay. That's a her name. A shit ripped skull mobile like this would make a fine trophy. We could like hang fucking shrunken heads from the side mirrors, cops heads, scary tribal shit. Um. We're right here. We're listening yeah, to you. Yeah, tribal things. shit. A cock carriage like this would have proper skull value. <clears throat> While I appreciate the interest you take in my brutal motor carriage, I have to stop you right there. The RCM takes threats directed at its property seriously. I, um, it's just theoretical work, copper. No basis in reality. Man, if we were certified skulls right now... We would kill them. Was it a good idea on the lieutenant's part to get into this? Don't even answer that. Just leave. You can always come back later, on your own terms. Uh, who are you? I can tell you who we're not, cop. We're not snitches. Or skulls. Which is not to say that the skulls are bitches and On the contrary. The part of this presentation you want to take home with you cop man is we're not part of the skulls yeah yet. you keep saying if only we were skulls okay then let's indulge in some intellectual exchange <sighs> these young <sighs> men seem eager to share their beliefs these skull people are more than an authority they're deities you guys know cindy the skull oh yeah cindy's a right proper skull yeah a true artist of the future just like Arno Van Eyck. Uh, by the way, if you see Cindy, give her our regards. Okay, maybe that'll give us a plus into suggestion or For something. For all their nihilistic posturing, these young men are not lacking I just want to see her art. The lieutenant on your left is unusually lenient toward them. Uh, they are obviously not skulls. Enough mm -hmm. scholarly towards skulls. You don't know? What kind of cop are you? It's not a question. Don't get into it. Of course I do. I'm just testing you boys. <laughs> I, I don't. The Skulls are the most vicious gang of the Besmertnay. 
the nastiest bunch of psychos ever. Jacking carriages and getting into high-speed chases. Possessing an infinite amount of fuck-all swagger, infamous for their non-verbal modus operandi. Oh, uh, say nothing? They usually occupy the burnt-out quarter in Jamrock. Or you can find them loitering around their brightly painted bottom-lighted vehicles. Ah, uh, <laughs> I can't wait to become a skull. Bottom lights are wretched aggressive. <laughs> Talking to you has been something. Alright, let's talk to... If, since it's not exactly nine, yeah, let's talk to the... Inside, you see a set of steering wheels. Um, you have a reason a to talk to them front, first. A pull-out toolbox and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. I should talk to someone, but I don't remember what. Oh, Speed Freaks FM. Okay, plug the radio. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Alice, I need you to connect me to Speed Freaks FM. Come again, officer? Speed Freaks FM, a radio station for the case. Okay, officer. One moment. I better not embarrass myself live. I have the GMS on the line. I'll connect you now. Yo! Uh, I'm sorry to bother. I just have a question. Ain't no bother, brother. Anyway. I only got a few minutes before I gotta go back on air. What do you need? Calling to confirm, did you debut a new track from DJ Flacco a few days ago? An asshole is a mouth for shit! Mm, and I'm puking. <laughs> That's the song, right? <laughs> That's the name of the song? Yeah, that is the song. An asshole is a mouth for shit! And I'm puking! <laughs> uh, okay, let's move on. We talked to some kids who said they heard it in their heads. You know how that could be possible? <sighs> Not our problem if kids decide to tune into r r r r r r r r Not that they played it on the radio, they heard it in their heads. You know how that's possible. I don't understand. Are you asking if we can, like, um, <laughs> play our station into people's brains? Sure, Force Radio can't tune out. You'd make a killing on ads. Equalize people, same station. Because I think you're an enemy of traditional values, forcing your filth on the innocent. Maybe as a part of your civic duty, you're just testing it out for the government. Uh, <laughs> these are awful. This is traditionalist. This is communist. This is, uh, I don't know, governmentist. Uh, okay, this one. Speed Freaks FM is elective listening, man. We don't want to force the people to adopt our thinking. That's fascist bullshit. Oh, that was the fascist one. <laughs> No, that wasn't my fascist line. That was my ultra liberal one. I can do the fascist one if you want. You're a fucking wild man. Sure, let's hear it. Okay, the fascist thing was me calling you an enemy. Okay, I forgot to turn on my French accent. Okay, the fascist thing was me calling you an enemy of the state for force pumping filth into children, thus corrupting traditional values. <laughs> oh man, I love it. You're great. No, no, we didn't do anything like that. We know how to. We just played it on there like normal people. Now, was there anything else you wanted to ask? Nah, no, that was it. Thank you for your time. Nah, man. Thank you. This has been an absolute pleasure. Later, cop man. The party has terminated the call. Is there anything else I can do for you, officer? Ugh. <sighs> I'm done with the radio for now. 57, over and out. I know you could have called you see the library, but I want to ask him for his opinion. Radio on a hook. A pull-out toolbox and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. There's the door. Kim, what is it? Okay, about that call, let's start from the top. There's no doubt that the twins heard Speed Freaks FM. I still don't know how without a radio, but they did. Spooky shit. But what does it mean? I don't know what it means. Oh wow. I mean, a weird voice in my head said to talk to kids. Maybe it's related. I don't think the voices in your head are related to this, no. It didn't sound like one of my thoughts. It sounded like a lady. The lieutenant gives you a long look. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that or what you want. To say. <laughs> I'm sorry. I knew it just didn't make sense. Did we ask where the kids were when they heard the voice? I didn't. <laughs> are you criticizing me? Okay, I didn't, sorry. No need to apologize. I was just going to say it'd be a good idea to ask them. And, detective, thanks for this. It's been interesting. What was he talking about? I was just being polite. Alright, well, I can go to Everard, finally. 
Uh, let's go to the Inside, station. You see a set radio. of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. This is precinct 57. How may I assist you? Uh, okay, library. I'm afraid that's closed. 10 a.m. The library is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. For some reason, I thought it was 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. We should try again during business hours. Let's wait for an okay, hour, then. Detective. Is there any reason to, con to contact the 41st precinct? I don't remember why, but I feel like I should. Uh, well, I found my gun and my badge, but I think I told them the first time I lost... I, I didn't lose my badge or something. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Find speed and sniff it. Everywhere. This thing? Wait. Any reason to contact them? Ruby on the coast. Uh, that's it. Great. Okay. I can't go to the library just yet. Let's go to Everard before we get onto the other island. I'm done with the radio. Over and out. In the cabin. You see us get out of here. Uh, we gotta walk all the way back. It was a long journey. Making another pilgrimage. Oh, hold on. Okay. Just wanna check how long I was playing. I'll be honest, I, I thought it was possible you might finish the game in this playthrough, but I'm gonna have to wait for another one. I don't think I'd be able to finish it in this playthrough, though. Well, who knows? Something might happen in like an hour, you know? Maybe I could just die. Uh, that'd be cool too. Okay, it's over here. Clicking is like much faster than walking around because my character is way too, like, when you use W, A, S, and D, it doesn't tell you you sometimes you do a little dance when it doesn't know how to deal with where you're going to go. Uh, but usually it's fine. All right, Evrart. I found your letter. I, I mean, why did I say I found your letter? I did the thing. I mailed everything. Mr. Dubois, I hear the meeting with Titus was a glowing success. That's such a relief. Titus can be a handful sometimes. Now. What can Everett Claire do for you today? It's done. I mailed the signatures you asked me to mail. The Golden Boy returns once more. Wonderful. Simply wonderful, Harry. Of course. I already knew this. My friend, the mailman, confirms the letter is on its way. You've done a great thing today. You've given the children of Martinez a bright future, and you've proven yourself someone I can trust. Someone I can really do business with. All right, we're gonna get more business. I better get money from this. Hell yeah, bro. I want a gun. I want my gun as well. Uh, let's me do intimidation checks. Uh, if you, did you know that if you have your gun, your suggestion just goes way up, just like 100%. Anywho, uh, more missions, please. You're in my inner circle. You too, Mr. Kitsuragi. We can talk about anything. The strike, the murder, your lost gun, nothing is off the table. Hear that? You did it the honest way. You got the real signatures, and now he's happy. Well done. Uh, I, I had to save scum for the, for the your grandma and lie to her. <laughs> your dirty that's, forgery fingers aren't sure really... if playing this one straight was the right thing to do. Um, why is interfacing uh, saying this? I thought... <laughs> I thought it'd be more moral, something more moral. Did you order the hang the man killed? Can I get my gun now? I know you plan to force them out the construction noise. And let's not like talk about that morally. I kinda wanna know. Oh wait, no. That was Titus, wasn't it? But then it turned out to be Ruby, so no. And uh I want my gun. I do want my gun. Harry, I've got to be honest with you. Your gun was found two days ago. Withholding this information weighed heavily on me. But it had to be done. Where is it? An old woman has it, and let me tell you, Harry, word on the street is she's a character. 
So watch out. A character. Everyone here is a character. <laughs> this must be the woman who bought the gun from Roy. The one he described as terrified. So they're gonna sell the woman who bought it from Roy. Yes, the same one. I see you've done your research. The pawn shop made the gun easy to track. Crazy stuff, Harry. Selling your gun like that? Wild. Anyway. Union boy's gonna help you fix it. He winks at you. Don't worry, Harry. The neighbors of this old woman contacted my men because they trust me and the Debardeurs Union. Apparently, she was waving it around at the entrance to her building. Waving the gun around doesn't sound good. None of this does. She's waving around at people. Um, who is this old woman? Unfortunately, I don't know anymore. You're gonna have to go in blind, Harry. But she's an old lady. How dangerous can she possibly be? Oh, and she calls herself the pigs. I was thinking like... Um, Cindy said pigs to me, but she's not really old. There it is again. The pigs. Like Roy said, not good at all. Maybe it's Kuno S. Uh, but she's not old though. I for one find it refreshing. Finally someone calls themselves a pig. Okay, thanks, Kira's King Siraki, we need that. Satisfaction. Um instead of meeting. I already have. Tonight, starting 10 o'clock, near the old fish market on the coast, the one on the boardwalk, a little past the fishing village. Be careful, Harry. I would never set you up for anything dangerous, but you did ask for this. Now, back to the fun stuff. I have to wait for 10. She will be there from 2200 hours till 0200 hours. More fun stuff. Seems like we already have fun stuff to do. All right, that's it for now. Great, Harry, great. I think we have truly built a bridge between Martinez and Jamrock today. We have united the RCM and the Debardeurs Union. My sadness. This has been so great. I'm sorry we don't have more fun things to do together, but if you ever feel like bouncing something off me, my door is always open. Okay, that's it. Uh, I'm sure... What are these harbor questions? I'm always happy uh, to educate and entertain you, my friend. So, what's on your mind? Order the hangman to fill signatures out. Yeah, that's it. Very nice, Harry. Is there anything else? <laughs> Nothing. What's in the container outside your office? I can't open it, rhetoric. My dear Harry, there are literally millions of containers in this harbor. I couldn't possibly remember what's in all of them. Something special about it is attached to the cabals and crane. Harry, you smooth-talking son of a bitch. Time is a precious resource, and I don't have enough of it to smiles. count containers with you. Smooth-talking? Maybe that's the way to go about opening the container. You should at least try convincing it. Alright, I'm done. See, uh, now I gotta do a meeting and wait for a while. Uh, Alright, I mean, wh whenever there's things to do, I never, like, I never wait, I just do things, so, let's teleport all the way across the map, uh, over here to Fisherman's Shacks, why, why, why aren't I outside, why can't I do this, or I could end no save scum for, for more checks, because I want to do some of them, this one's really funny, I want to do that. But uh, probably not now, though. Uh, let's wait until we're in like an open area, I guess, because it thinks I'm inside of interior of something. I don't know. I, uh, I guess it makes sense why there'd be rules for why I should uh, or can quick travel at some places because I need to be outside. And that just makes things easier, I guess. Am I outside yet? I'm not. I need to get down from here. Uh, get down. Okay, now can I do it? What the hell is going on? I've already walked this far. Literally, why not just walk? Um the rest of the way. 
I'm in the Martinez waterfront. Let me teleport. Finally. Now I'm in the children's village. What they say? How does this work? The scruffy haired little boy kicks a stone while the other watches him do it. Real quick, boys. Where were you when you heard the voices? There. Ruined monoliths nearby. We were there. Uh. Thanks, kids. Uh huh. Full circle. Back to Feld then. When you're ready. The boy turns the rock over in his hands. He looks to you, then his brother, then back to you. Oh, Feld, Feld Electrical. Ah, oh, the mural. Okay, well, whatever, we're on this island then. I thought the ruined place were just literally any of the buildings that were in the village, and that was proof that Ruby was there once. This is a real far away, man. This is really far away. How did they hear this thing? And how did they see it? I mean, how did they mix it up with like a voice in their head? Oh, I guess they just mixed it up because like they don't know what a radio is or something. I don't know. Okay. Maybe Lucy also heard of it. Or just, I don't know. Little, little Lillian. Little Lily. The once bright mural towers above you, saying, Feld Electrical R and D. Tomorrow is just a whisper away. Idiot Doom Spiral, seen inside the church, searched Ruby's glory. I understand what caused the twins to hear radio in their heads. I searched Ruby's glory? What was that? Uh, okay, hold on. Lore. I don't know how to pronounce Lori. Uh, what were they? Encyclopedia clothes? Was this encyclopedia? There it is. That can't be the only thing. Uh, this one's at least a bit easier. Pain threshold. Drama. Empathy, suggestion, half light. I think like I, I talked to someone who played this and they did an encyclopedia build. I'm so jealous. <laughs> okay, let's go do it. Uh pff, let's go save as well, because I don't know. I kinda I kinda wanna do shivers again. Uh yeah. There better not be anything that'll decrease my uh, my thing, my my you know my thing, my encyclopedia. I didn't see anything. Nothing makes me dumber. The once bright mural towers above you, saying, "Feld Electrical R and D." Tomorrow. Is just a whisper away. Let's go. You know a lot about radio. Enough to know you have no idea how or why those boys heard Speed Freaks FM in their heads. Knowledge like that isn't just obscure, it's unknowable. Dangerous theoretical facts like that are probably protected under the coalition government's Articles of Dominion. Title 14. Article 7c. While an expert might be able to suss it out on their own, a layman like you has no hope. Haha, <laughs> sus, he said the funny word. You don't know how it happened, but the stores of your knowledge are vast, and there is oh something my God. crucial. What was that? You know where Ruby isn't. We, we ruled this one out? She isn't in the fishing village. She's not with her bullet under the floorboards in the shack. So where could she be? Here's what I thought. I thought like there would be a hole. There would be a hole behind the mural. And we could just remove this paneling here because there's like a little thing here, you know? There's a little space. And I thought you could just pull that off. I guess she isn't here. The Darn. Alcoholics never mentioned seeing Ruby either. 
Idiot Doom Spiral gave an exhaustive account of recent events, but never mentioned seeing Ruby. You've even entered the church, met Tiago and Sauna. Some criminals seek sanctuary from sacred buildings, though the sanctuary laws were abolished decades ago. But Ruby wasn't such a one. And you do know one thing about radios, Yulan. Ruby dabbles in advanced radio theories. Yulan, the speed freak's mystery. It might just be related. Yulan, is that the thing? The drug trafficking that happens in the second episode? If she's here on the coast, she'll be here. And besides, something weird happened to the twins around here. It'd be nice to know what caused that. Another fact for your collection. Suddenly, there's a sigh carried on the molecules around you, moving, pressure. flowing it's from like the high pressure gave me to low pressure, a big like hand. that of a woman emptying her lungs. She wraps the collapsing stone box in front of you in her breath, flowing through it. And as it go? In through the collapsed roof, flowing what? down a what? concrete huh? staircase to the basement, sweeping away footprints in the dust on the stairs. And then, the beach below the boardwalk. It's winding tunnels. A whisper away. What is happening? She's down there. What the fuck? Huh? What? Who said that? What? <laughs> oh, that's the lady, isn't it? That's... Is that the person from my past? Oh, that's so creepy. That, that kind of... That kind of jump scared me. Alright. I think she's down there. Below this building. Okay. Why? Uh, ever since I woke up, maybe even before, I've been getting these strange cold spells. Alright, whatever. Twins did hear the radio from here, so something is happening. True. And Ruby does have radio experience, as evidenced by her lorry. But how do we even get in there? The doors were on the collapsed side of this building. They're gone, basically. There's a ladder next to the side. Perhaps you can climb it, and it through the roof. This is a really rackety ladder, by the way. Perhaps you can climb them. We are not climbing anything. I'm 43 years old, and I plan to live to see 70. This is gonna be real bad. Oh, what is this? What's this? Get, run, go. Oh, that was the other way? Ah, uh, I ran all the, the other way around. An Damn. old pipe peeks out from beneath the rotten boards of the boardwalk. Could this be an alternative path into the field? I have to building? climb through some really old pipe. Yeah. Your eyes slowly begin to adjust to the darkness inside the drainage pipe. The lieutenant looks over your shoulder. Could you get into the... Wait, actually, what's in there? An ordinary drainage pipe. Ugh. Darkness. I should... Should have brought my glass As your light. eyes adjust, you see some trash. Crumpled up newspapers. Someone has been butts. here. Someone has half-heartedly spray-painted skulls on the right side. Is, are the skulls here? And... And nothing. Broken glass from bottles thrown against the walls of the <laughs> oh, pipe. Oh, uh, A syringe. I don't want to go through here. Could you get into the felt building through this pipe? Given that this isn't a martial arts thriller, it's highly unlikely and not without risk to our health either. However, the pipe suggests there may be an entrance to the basement around. And it's right here. A maintenance door. Uh, what is this? Physical instrument? And it's on one? Oh, insane. Ah, uh, to the right of the pipe obscured by reeds. Oh, it is here. Okay, so there's a couple of ways to get in. Let me check the ladder again. It's better than my physical instrument. I should have put in more points to physique. Ah, uh, damn. Now I regret everything. A rusty ladder leads to the rooftop. Some of the rungs are missing. Yeah, that doesn't look good at all. The situation. The distances between the remaining rungs are rather wide. You have to use the mounting brackets. However, they seem corroded, and the peeling rust is razor sharp. Well, you know, I'm wearing gloves. In addition, the first rung is going to be tough to reach. It's what three meters above the ground, and you're one eighty. One eighty seems about right. Not to mention that the roof is collapsing and the wind gets pretty brutal up there. Dismounting from the ladder is going to be hard. 
Perhaps if you were to not climb the ladder. Instead, what if you were to reconceptualize climbing the ladder? What does that remotely mean? Astral projection. Be <laughs> open minded. <laughs> Just teleport. Teleportation is not a thing. <laughs> I thought I said that out loud. Uh, no. Uh, teleportation is a thing. It just needs a bit of concentration. Okay, let's say teleportation is a thing. Wouldn't you need some kind of scientific apparatus to create a teleportation field? You can't just do it without apparatus. What are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> teleportation, Mikhail. It's generally thought impossible. Oh, it hurts to try. Oh, yes. It could hurt a lot. He is restraining himself. Oh, my God. I can do this. Let's teleport to the roof. Yes, I don't. Okay, I know some things that could remove my savoir faire. This is definitely how we're gonna do this. No, we're not gonna climb through a crappy, dirty, old drainage pipe. We're gonna teleport, obviously. It's not even that hard. It's literally not even that hard. It's not as hard as climbing through the pipe, funnily enough. Uh, okay, anything else that could help? Oh, this is a very, very good time to, um... Oh, this is minus one of our fare. I'm not wearing any pants in front of a child. Oh, no. Uh, where's the... I don't know, any pants would work. Alright, that's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah? That's all I could do. Put on some speed as well. I'm gonna save. Oh, hold on. I'm not sure maybe I don't need speed for it. Because it's gonna be like 58 or something. That's not too bad. If I were to save scum this, it'd be fine. The rusty ladder leads to the rooftop. Hey, 72. That's not too bad. Let's go. On what the thought, fuck? Maybe teleportation isn't a thing. Why? Because you're just standing there squeezing your buttocks. And nothing is happening. Okay, but it isn't happening. I'm not teleporting. You're not. Please, don't try to climb the building. We'll get in another way. Uh, not ready. Okay. Uh, load again. It's fuck. It's literally 70%. It's 70% and I failed. Okay, hold on. Great. Let's, let's try again. The rusty ladder leads to the rooftop. All you need to do is close your eyes and concentrate. Darkness enfolds you. You can feel the distance between the bench and the first rung of the ladder. All you need to is... Do it. Zoot, zap, pow, crinkle. It's like magic. You feel yourself disappear. Your atoms fading. Did anyone like watch that video from Tom Scott saying like oh, teleportation is impossible? And uh, yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. Bam! You find yourself on the roof. <laughs> Kim, I, I teleported. I just saw you climb the ladder. You just climbed it like a regular person. <laughs> Wait, I, I god damn it, don't ruin it. The wind at the top of the building starts howling loudly. Blowing away the lieutenant's voice. Faintly, you hear. Never mind. Find a way to let me in when you get inside. <sighs> Don't go adventuring with a backup, especially if we think the suspect may be hiding here. Alright, cool. God, that was, the, that was the funniest shit. Um. Said post has been struck by artillery fire. Is there any place I can walk to? Can I get up here? No, I can't. I can climb up there. Stones fall a long way down. Alright, let's be careful about this. Give me that. Yeah, another postcard. This leads up, maybe? Uh, grime and dust, you barely see out. Is there nothing? I can't walk on there. Alright, we're gonna go here then. Uh, uh, okay, hold on. Maybe I need my flashlight. 
It just lets me walk up here. Wait, oh, that goes down. I was really confused on, like, what is happening. <laughs> it was like a MC Escher painting. One can barely squeeze in. Um, right then, we gone, so I go. Orange mildew. How long it's something? Ew. Document silvery with mold. Uh, dusty this paint isn't glass. just glass. These are old computation components. Oh. Yes, filament memories. From the time when wires were cast in glass. <coughs> slides with an inlaid nervous system. How they do that? Why? The how was a closely guarded secret. Something that was locked in safes in human heads across the river where they were manufactured. As to why, your fingers don't know. Okay, then. Something here. Um, suggestion. Okay, well, I already got another suggestion jacket. Uh, yeah, it's a jacket. Not a shirt, I think. Um, nothing in this giant chest, apparently. By the way, I'm not gonna stop clicking on stuff in the background because there hasn't been a re reason not to. Oh, nice. Uh, I knew it was a good idea to use my flashlight. What is this? I can't walk in there. Oh, I can. Oh, nice. Well, it's not been here for months or years. Pots, dust and spiderwebs. Revolutionary propaganda on the bunk bed. Same slit window you saw from the outside. You sure? Could this have been the killer's hideout? And this narrow window? The point of origin of the shot that killed the mercenary. Yeah, let's speak outside. Outside the window, the day is clear, and as mild as can be in early spring. It's a good place. It's a good place to hide, but doesn't look like anyone has stayed here in a while. Is it feasible to hit a target in the whirling ranch from this window? No, it's not. No oh, matter how you crane your neck, you can't see the whole of the whirling in rags, and certainly not the relevant segment of the top floor. So that was one place. Uh, where is it? Boardwalk for bullet traces. I see. A mustachioed and mutton chopped man, amateurishly depicted. That looks like me, right? Sad eyes. The plaque reads K. Mazov. There is a spider web in the lower left corner of the portrait. Gross, I don't want to look at the spider. Years worth of dust is shaken off. The full head of hair matched by an ample mustache and sideburns look a bit silly. Someone crouches, heels digging into wet sand. Hands sweep across the sand, grain sticking to the frayed skin of the fingertips. An old man sits on a slab of concrete and taps his fingers against the glass of a scope. You shudder. Oh, okay. What's this? Hmm, is this a hat? Mazovian socioeconomics. Oh, that is the best looking cat hat I got. Damn. It's like a... Those look pretty Russian. I like the ones that have flaps on their sides. They look very comfy. Hey, uh... I can look like less of an idiot, but, uh... And nah, I want to do it. Okay, hold on. I got all these jackets. These new jackets I got. What's the blue one that I just had? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. If only if this jacket was red. That'd be really nice. Okay, uh... Pfft. Hope I need some suggestion, I guess. Get out of here. This hat is so soft, so warm. It wraps around your head, and your mind tingles with all manner of socio-economic theory. That's an Ushanka? Kraz Mazov would have worn this Ushanka. Mazov knew where to cook those thoughts. That's why it bears a Mazovian logo. Glory to the revolution, comrade. Whether you like it or not, <laughs> Damn it. wearing this hat has made you more communist. I just looked at the rhetoric, like, 
painting and it's just a guy screaming. What? Alright, actually I want to look at these paintings again. Man, they look so cool. I, uh, I don't have much to say. I want to look at all of them. Ah, uh, the drama is... Oh, it's so messy. So morbid. I, I can't stop looking at it. Very artsy. Looks like the head in his hands. Ah, oh, damn. This is, this is truly art. Nice. Hold on. Hold yourself together. Keep your morale up. Uh, okay, that makes sense, I guess. My volition is super low. Uh, keep your morale up. But yeah, that's weird. I got like so much morale points. So much morale. Health. That's, yeah. Inland Empire. It's just like big circle with stuff in it. Uh, empathy. Oh yeah, this guy's hugging himself. <laughs> this is really just scary. Bunch of police guys, I guess. Suggestion. I don't really get suggestion. That's the weird one. Endurance. I guess it's just like a guy in his brain. This one looks super painful. He, I don't know. Looks kind of strong. I would have preferred like muscles. Uh, yeah. I like this battery looking thing. It's like a this spine here is really weird and this shit and this lightning bolt. Super cool. Uh, it almost looks like a face. <laughs> so many hands. Mm, yeah, I guess so. It's kind of like a bunch of things connected out of his head and they're feeling things. I get that. This is very messy. He's kind of turning his head around. Uh, I still don't understand what Savoir Faire is. This looks like a torso with a bunch of arms coming out of it. It's a, a, kind of like a body of a spider in the middle. It's really weird to me. Um, interfacing, yeah, I guess just touching things. This one is always pretty cool looking because it's very square. Okay, that's it. I, I really wanted to look at those because the, those are like super cool looking, <laughs> and that's all I. That's all the reason that I need it. I should I should have done that like at the beginning or something instead of like randomly in the middle of my playthrough though. Mm, okay, uh, we already went there. Oh, Kim, I see you. Two rusty metal plates that slide apart form a crude door. It's been here under the boardwalk for a while. <laughs> Ignore the door. <laughs> The doors seem to be on rails, but they've gotten jammed. You grab a side and put some strength into prying it open. With the help of your partner, the two metal panels slide open with a creak. Huh. I hope no one dangerous heard that. Ready? Yes. Time to investigate these passages. Let's move quietly and not make more sound. Not running is a great way to do that. Fine. If I run, something might happen. Is there anything out here, by the way? Oh, that lets me go back to the boardwalk, I guess. Uh, I don't think I found anything weird over here. Yeah, there's not nothing even, even to interact in this place. Let's go upstairs, then. Because I don't see anything in this bottom place. Okay, time to squeeze in through here. Hmm. There's nothing here, though. I guess let's go to the roof. Oh, I shouldn't run. Alright, let's go. And there's still nothing. Uh, so I, I don't know, I guess I should've went outside. I don't think I can climb down back through the ladder. Yeah, nothing. Alright, you know what, we can run, right? It's totally fine. Uh, let's go back. Uh, yeah. Let's escape through the boardwalk. <laughs> Get down.
Maybe if we do run, we will catch someone that, like, wants the attention or something. What did it say? Explore the passages below the felled building. What? They're in the felled building. So I don't know, maybe there's something here? Maybe it's talking about this. Wait, no, it's not the drainage pipe. What was it talking about? How could I find what's below the felled building? Uh, I might have to search that up. Is this another mural? Can I ask for, like, uh, wind thing again? Can I listen to the wind? Oh, gosh. Well, it isn't a mystery if I didn't know what the heck was going on. Did that these guys see Ruby? That'd be interesting if they did. Also, you've been here for like a couple of days. Uh, you should go home to your wife, sir. Hello, hello. What can I do for you, officer? Mm. I'm looking for a suspect. Have you seen one with red hair? Seem to be I'm on the run. I'm afraid not, officer. I've been busy digging around in the reeds for days, looking for signs of insect activity. I'm less interested in mammalian concerns, to be perfectly honest. The lieutenant takes a short note in his notebook, then gestures for you to proceed. Is there any way to tell him? Yeah, Lena seems pretty easy for you to turn. Okay, let's do this first. Let's offer to check the traps. I didn't expect you to take such an interest in our work here, officer. I am at Sion. Uh, another thing, maybe just to her? Uh, it's okay. You're looking for someone hiding on this very coast. Looking for another thing, maybe just to her. Why not? At least it will give us the excuse to look into a lot of reels. That it will. That it absolutely will. I hope you brought your good boots. Hmm. Alright, if there's a phasma in one of these traps. Bring it to me at once. Just make sure the trap is closed tight. Uh, what are these traps? There are four in total. One is to the south, on this little peninsula. By the boathouse is there. It's very near. I can't put it into his eyes. I can put it into Gary's eyes, though. Uh, I can't put it at Kim's. Ah, oh, crap. Another we set in Land's End, to the northeast. It's behind a small sand dune there. On your way to the old radio tower, after the church. Uh... Dune, radio tower, after church. On the peninsula. God damn it, so many. Where you crossed? By a concrete slab. A big thicket of reeds going up the slope. And among them? You should check at least one of those before returning to this one, since I just said it. This one's more of a technicality, but still, better safe and stupid than sorry. I think I'm the past in the wild. That's highly unlikely, officer. And in the event you do, I'll spray you with a pheromone mixture I developed. It's oh. made of musk and research chemicals. The pheromone should attract the insect to you, or at least prevent it from bolting at the sight of you. It's quite potent. Will last you about a <laughs> Okay, lay it on me. I don't want it like too bad. Wise choice. Odd smelling spray. This is the smell of dying reeds, of longing crumbling into the water. Yeah, that uh, doesn't smell too bad. I, I, I assume it's what water smells like, or like rain. I hope you're not buying this. It dispenses it without letting you touch the canister, so it would be precious like holy water. It is precious. A single dose cost me 50 real to develop. Not that I expect you to understand self-financing one's own research. Yeah. <laughs> Die, cop. Right. Which means you two can pack up and go back to the whirling. Wait, what? Finally! Someone's talking sense. Thank you for your help. Gary and I will start breaking down camp. If you have any more questions, 
Now's the time to ask. We'll be gone once you get to it. If it's more cryptid related business you want to discuss, you'll have time for that later too. But what if the information is vital on the hunt? Uh, that's it. And maybe I do need to know about the Phasmid, but whatever. Let's look at the traps. Check the trap and lands in far northeast of the Feld building. We're all just set up. Near the boathouses. Uh, west of the Feld building. Southeast of the village. Okay. I don't know what the traps look like, but we'll do it later then. Um, we didn't get any clues on Ruby. How do I check what's underneath the the, the building? What is this? Get there then. This looks like a looks like a house that I can get into. I'm like I'm a really angry boss, and I just want them to do things. Can I actually get into this building? No, I don't think so. Hiding place. Could the instigator be inside? Oh no, I guess not. And nothing here, and I can't get under there. What is this? A scattering of bullet holes is spread okay, across the no, crypt wall. Can't do anything. I haven't leveled up my mission calculus. Ugh, great. Let's get into that building one more time. Oh, is this? Okay, let's check this trap. There's a trap in the reeds at your feet. Looks like the same one you saw Morel set before. Same mesh, same Wait, wiring. Is it just me? Or is that a reed or something inside of there? Let's check. Look around. Behind you, a ruined residential building looms over Oh the no, reeds, that was the tree, I shielding think. Shielding them from the wind. They rustle confidentially in tune with the pitter-patter of the rain. When this district was booming, the reeds were kept at bay. Nothing obscured the freshly painted facades. Nowhere for drunks and adventurous teenagers to hide. Now only the wind blows. Locusts are crawling around in the trap, confused but uneaten. You see no carnivorous reed phasmid gorging on them. Uh, Big surprise. It. Anyway, one down. Three to go. I need to grin. I don't expect to find anything. I'm just helping some citizens and getting some fresh air. I meant no offense. Just... <laughs> That's it. Hold on. Ow, 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 ow. You know, I wear my... Uh... My things. My, my earphones for a long time. I just thought it starts hurting y'all. It's bad. Okay, uh, that was that west of the building. Okay, far northeast of the Feld building, Land's End, southeast of the village. You can do this until it's like five, where we could travel back and wait for a bit or something. Did you leave already? Oh, I was gone for like a bit. Okay, I'll wait for this one last because he said, "Oh, I just set this up." He was setting it up for like two days or something. Quite a while. Uh, actually, I could check inside here first. I'm gonna run and make attention. There's supposed to be something underneath here. Or is this already underneath? And I didn't check everything. I feel like I already did though. Or is this like a place to walk through? Oh, this is. Oh, I'm really stupid. This is an actual walkway. I thought this was like a wall for some reason. Oh my god, I feel really dumb. Alright, fine, I'll walk. Okay, I'll walk. Uh, I got a thought here. Uh, I missed it, I guess. Hmm. Go over here first, because this looks like a dead end. No, it's not. Um, great. 
This looks like a maze. Something in the air, a natural buzzing. Is like using my flashlight calling attention to myself? Uh, oof, it's getting louder. This is creepy, y'all. I'm so scared. There it is again. Like a swarm of hornets buzzing under your scalp. A strange tingling you can almost smell. Lieutenant, do you feel something? No. What do you mean? Hmm. A pain. Strange tingling. I don't feel it, but... We should still be careful. <sighs> there were footprints back there, and I'm pretty sure they were fresh. I think it's a suspect who left the prints. Possibly. If she's in here, we need to plan our next step carefully. What do you mean? Once we detain a credible suspect, who knows what the Union and the Wild Pines will do. We'll set in motion events we have no control over. You will upset the balance of power in Martinez. The deadlock between the company and the Union will destabilize. I completely forgot that uh, a murder happened. <laughs> okay, anyways, continue. Keep calm. Go over the whole situation in detail. You found out Everard's plan to take the harbor. Um, okay. You know what, Joyce knows about the murder, but I may have other things to discuss with her. So I got a date with the pigs and my gun. Do you think whatever happens will affect our cryptozoologists? How bad do you think things could get? What do you think is waiting for us there? Okay. Hmm. Why do we keep telling Joyce things? Oh, you tell everybody things. Okay. You know how Joyce knows about the murder, but I may have other things to uh, Yes. There won't be time for that once things go down. Matter of fact, I don't think there's time for it now, but... If you must. Okay, if you have to leave, then we should do it now, I guess. Hmm... Should we tell Joyce? I leave that to your judgment. You already know what I think about cross-pollinating information like this. It's dangerous, but... He just can't be sure. Maybe it will yield something useful. I still got a day. We absolutely cannot skip that appointment. Consider that 100% confirmed. I fear you'll need your gun for this. Oh, we need your gun now? His hand rests on his holster. It's not enough. You need a gun in your hand too. Your gun. How bad do you think things could get? Well, we are not responsible for what we can't predict, are we? I don't think the entire city will be raised to the ground. If you can't predict it, there's nothing you could have done. What do you think is waiting for us there? I think I see a cavern. Maybe more cellars? I think we've been careful enough. We still have the element of surprise. I wouldn't be so sure. You haven't exactly been sneaking. Or maybe not. Either way, once we go deeper, there will be no turning back. Okay, this looks like the end of the game. Uh, I'm going back. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, what else do I have? gotta do? Okay, walk back. Run back, actually. Um, what else is there? Put the quick get my button. I want my button. Gun, gun, but. The union and cryptozoology business might end when you do. Yeah. Uh, what is this? Become a man of plenty. Does this say might? Where is this? My end. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't do that scummy thing yet. AKA save scumming. Hmm. I don't want to do that. I don't care about this. And I want to call Jamrock Public Library because these are definitely related. And I'll. I need some speed. I'll, I'll do some speed before I do the final mission. And I want to buy more drugs, because I feel like I need more drugs. Okay, this seems like the final confrontation in the game. That's gonna happen next episode. For now, I want to tie up some loose ends. Okay. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle. Uh. Oh. I completely forgot. Alright, whatever. We're on. We're here, you know. Let's go to the north of the building. Northeast. It's on the coast. I mean, on the thing. We can also just sit on a bench for a really long while. Wait until she's done. But, uh, I think I should talk to Lena first. Uh, and her husband. Because they should both be back there already. Or, I don't know. 
I want to get my gun for sure. Right where we're here. Did he put it on the coast? On the boardwalk here? I don't see nothing. Uh, maybe it's somewhere else then. Uh, we need to find a place that has reeds when I think about it. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think about that. So I guess it shouldn't be on here. Here, is it on the, the, uh, the boardwalk? Is it off the boardwalk? Is it... I can't get through here. Uh, what else? Okay, I only like checked one place. Uh, why would he set up a trap like over here, and then tra set up another trap like right on top of here? Okay, I'm unsure where northeast of the felled building is exactly. Here somewhere? Wait, is that it? No? <laughs> I'm confused. Down here? I already checked down here, didn't I? That was on south. Far northeast. Where's Land's End? Just set up. Canal you crossed. Uh, let's check the map. I don't know where Land's End is. Is it here? Uh, oh, maybe it's here. But like, that's not north. Wait, I thought east. East is this direction, right? It's to the right of me. I've I've always had I've never really been that good at directions because I don't even know what's left and right. But you know what? There's a ton of reeds here. Like when when there's reeds, there's got to be the trap somewhere. Is it here? It said it's far north, and I don't I haven't been here much. I'm also using my flashlight to try to find this thing. Oh, there it is, I think. Yeah. A familiar apparatus lies among the reeds. Another one of Morel's traps, weighed down by stones. This trap is also full of panic. Ugh, okay, great. No sign of any cryptozoological beast inside. Another empty trap. More out of habit than duty. <laughs> uh, how are you enjoying the cardio, Lieutenant? I'm quite enjoying it myself. Always up for a good job. Otherwise, would I still be on this case with you? Haha, <laughs> tee hee, lol. Alright. There's nothing around here, right? Probably. Let's just go. On the canal I just crossed. Hmm. Okay, that's a fudge. That's not where I want to go. Maybe there's something up here. Cause I saw there were some islands I might have gone been able to go to for like the gun traces or something. Oh, is this? Is there something here that would indicate a sniper used this place as a nest for taking the shot? Just some urban detritus, a bottle, and a dilapidated old comms tower. I don't see it, Lieutenant W. Freitor. I don't see a person take a shot here and hit something there, in the whirling in rags. Uh, look over the water to the whirling rags. There, 1.2 kilometers over the wave-crossed bay, through heavy, dark gray curtains of rain, you see the smallest rectangle, barely visible, a glowing light on the third floor of the whirling in rags. With binoculars, you would see a young woman's shape move behind the glass, her limbs long. And slender. Maybe they seen a climb the comps tower to the shot there. It's not possible to climb that ladder. And even if it were, why? There's no platform up there to aim from. It does look extremely rickety. 
and yeah, won't help yeah. much either. Campfire. To warm his hands before pulling the trigger? Perhaps. But anyone could have made this. The coast is specked with fire this time yeah, of year. Yeah, I didn't think that was a good lead either. Truthfully, this seems like a very poor choice to take a 1.2 kilometer rifle shot from. Visibility is awful. There's water vapor everywhere. I think we can rule out Beatable Prime, was it? Was it Triple Prime, actually? I don't remember. Well, all right. Well, I just happened to be going places. and uh, Yeah. Check Island. The main island? I, I don't remember where that place was. I might as well do it because, like, I got some other things. <laughs> to take out. Like, I'm so close to finishing is what I meant. Well, whatever. Let's go down. I need to check the canal I just crossed, apparently. Is that... Did it say far north, so southeast? Uh, let's do that, like... Quest is the last thing for this episode, I guess. And then I can do big things next episode. Now, let's check on this bunker one more time. How's the engine? An old door. Worn yeah. by elements, guards the depot. The wind has blown a sand dune in front of it. The door hasn't been opened in a long while. You see a handle. I gotta be honest, this is like the absolute cruelest check in the entire game. But at least, um, you know, safe scumming does exist. Like, if you wanted to be patient enough to do it, nothing's stopping you, I guess. I'm not doing it, though very hard uh, mm, southeast canal I just crossed what's a canal <laughs> is it this one is it this the canal is this a canal what's a canal let's check like this entire nook and cranny I guess what is this? Uh, well, this is the fishing village. Oh, wait, did it say southeast of the fishing village? Uh, we come find a men. Southeast of the village, oh, okay. By the way, he said to check the one that he just set up last, so I'm gonna follow that. Oh man, just one more, just one, I wanna visit Lily. Why not? Maybe she heard the radio as well, and she can confirm things. Hey, Hello, you're getting your Nesta. eye exam. You know anyone named Ruby? No, Luby. Ruh. Ruh, Luby. It's all serious and leans in as she's about to tell you a secret. My mom tells me I'm a big girl. But she doesn't know that I can't say Earl. Or like, sometimes I can, but then, oh, er, er, What are you, Asian? <laughs> okay, no more racist kids. Jokes. That's the one thing. Bye. I'm done. Uh, goodbye. No, nothing here, I guess. Why is there jars there? That's weird. Hmm. Southeast of the village. I didn't see anything. I'll buy more beer for you. Maybe tonight. I want I want to hear that one last story. <laughs> Probably this is really cool. It's real chill, okay? I wanna listen to it. Very therapeutic. Um This is southeast of the village, right? Oh, there's something there. Oh my god. This trap's not too hard to spot. Once you know what to look for, keeping it hidden has not been a priority for the cryptozoologist. Maybe for the trap. Nothing but locusts in this trap as well. Definitely no cryptozoological monstrosity. Empty as all of them. One more of these and we're done. Bummer, who wasn't in here? You getting tired? Uh I'm just Glad we haven't found some poor cat trapped in one of these. Wow, that's it. Okay then. Uh, 
Let's go all the way back. It's, it's a long stretch. This is the last thing we'll do this episode. Just check one more trap to see if the locust is there. Sure it would be a miracle if we found one. After that, I can go read a book. Oh wait, no. Go to the library. Ask them about a murder. Actually, I want to check the bookstore as well, because I didn't see the woman who I was meant to find a working husband for. Uh, so I don't know where she is. Need to tell her the bad news. I don't see one in here. This is Sorry, the last man. of the traps. The one Morel just set. Checking it over. He said is just a technicality. It would be a miracle if you found it here. The trap feels light and silent as you pick it up. Something is different here. Wow, locusts. No locusts. No phasmid either, but still. Uh, okay. I don't want to yell because that might scare the phasmid, you know? Well, the bait worked on something. This doesn't mean it was a reed monster, though. Unless you see one in there, I just see an empty trap. But, you know, it's a reed. It's, it's... It disguised itself. The netting is a little untidy. Messier than the others. Like someone or something picked the trap up and shook it before dropping it back down on the ground. Hmm. Did I get the feeling that someone or something may have messed with the Perhaps our cryptozoologists have competition in the form of an actual entomologist. Or uh. someone else is sabotaging them. I could present more theories, but then I would be taking this <laughs> case, which I'm not. No. But, you're yeah, right, they still need to know. Okay, but after that we get back to our own assignments. We've done a thorough survey of the coast now. Just running around is no longer useful. A cold gust of air dries your sweaty face, and you look to the dark shadow, the felled building in the distance, drawing you to it. What a strange sensation. Once this is done, mm. should you try to ask again? Sh really shivers? Really? Okay, I'll try asking again. The reeds by the abandoned campsite hiss and shake in the lazily falling rain. It's good the cryptozoologists left. This isn't a very cozy place to stay night after night. The later it gets, the colder. Remnants of the camp can still be seen in the sand. The fire that's gone out. You feel strange, somehow. All right, before I forget, let's go ch let's go to the there you go. <laughs> it's on the corner there. I want to I want to ask the wind things again. Why not? Shivers said I should. Uh, okay, stop, 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 stop. Can I Wait, why can't I look at it again? No, I want to ask the wind things. I thought it's I thought it said I could ask it again. Hello. Isn't this a fine morning? It's not warning. Oh wait, no it is. Damn it. I'm losing my mind. Alright, well... That's it, I guess. I have nothing else to do. Um, but I feel like the game's gonna end if I start going into the place. Uh, before that, I need to get my gun. Uh, I could ask... I could save scum whatever Cindy wanted to show me. Her art. Uh, I could do this, but I have literally no idea where to check. Like, this is a big island. I don't know. Oh, was it the coast? It was the coast, wasn't it? I'll check the coast next time. Um, and uh, talk to the library. So that's three things. Or four things, if I count the speed thing. I don't really... I don't think I have to. I don't know. It's fine if I don't. And I need to return to Morel. That's five things. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm feeling we're gonna get to the end of this game next episode. If I, like, keep that thing at the end. I'm getting... I'm excited. That's... Uh, you know... Good luck for me. Next episode. Good luck, future napkin. Whatever. This is gonna be it. This week. I'm gonna see you. Hopefully. In seven days from now. Goodbye. Consume everything.